Hi, this is Reese from Creo Serum, and this is the video four on getting started. Now, the video four is job templates. Now, what we're going to do here is that we ideally, should the management team should be doing this particular role of creating job templates. Now, from here, this is usually the first start they have and the screenshot they have when their managers have, which is an overview of the whole business. Now, first thing we would want to create a job template. To find job templates, you click on the admin. Uh, section here, you click on the templates and you've got a number of template creators that you can have. Now we're going to be focusing on job template for this one. So let's click on job template. At the moment there's three defined job templates in here. Now the one that we've got here is end of month jobs with all the list of jobs here. Now for this example it goes through an order of it from start to finish and it goes through from starting a um, email sent and it goes all the way down to stock received and you've got offset times from a offset time is when you create it the first one will do the offset time of zero next one's 20 minutes 40 minutes one hour and so forth and so forth so it's an offset time of the creation of the actual job template itself now the other point is this section here is for three hours and allocated time of three hours as well now, we have a Gantt section in here as well. Now, in the Gantt section in here, this brings the order along here, and we will default it to, for example, a week here, or day, which will give you the hours uh, along here. Now, because I've actually done the duration as um, offset, sorry, as um, 20 minutes, it just goes through the days and times um, here, and it displays it better on, on the um, on the actual um, day. Now, what you can do in here is you have the ability to drag and drop these options and start sliding them down into um, better offsets. So the Gantt chart has the ability for you to drag the editor along here. Now, the key thing about this, the other things you want to know is that you've got these lines that you have interconnections. So if I um, click here, these are called dependency lines. Now if I ho um, hover my mouse over the top here and drag it and then release it here to the actual start of the other task, this is saying that when you finish this particular task, it will alert you to the next tasks coming up here and it will tell you that this is what you need to do. So for example, you can move it and say, well, if I finish this task, oh, I've got to do these tasks. Now, you've got other dependencies where you can do all these different elements, which is if I finish this, I, I can do this as well. So you can go back um, in time. Now, if I can click on this. Now, we, when you want to delete it, you have to select it and then hit the... So, hover it and it will hover over it and then click on the delete and it will delete the device. and do the same one this one and delete that one okay so pretty much uh, you've got this area here where you can um, go through the dependencies and it will alert you from when this finishes this will email you to say this is a task is ready now the other elements you want to do is you can change the order where you can drag and drop and move it across and can move it around. Now, obviously it may not make sense if the, the actual offset time is in a different state and um, you obviously start seeing the uh, GAN chart starting to look a bit uneasy uh, with this as well. So you just want to make sure that you um, correctly have a display where you've got the right order as well. So I'll move that back up there, and it looks quite neat there. But pretty much the dependencies will offset that wherever, if you complete it, it will email across. Now to create a new task template, click on new here, and I'm going to just um, create a new task template. You can click on the search button, so you can type in here test, and it'll bring the new test, or you can click on the magnifying glass and search the other existing te task templates that you can choose that are very defined. Oh, I'm just going to click on the paper and click on a new task template to create. This is for a demo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to allocate 
three hours for that. Task type in here that I can uh, leave it alone. The next thing is to do with the sign criteria. Now if I click on this pencil mark here, I can pop off a screen and I can build a criteria builder on when it creates a task. So for example, I click on the add button. And I'm going to say, um, uh, I use the caption. You can use caption. You can use um, username. I'll use username, which is probably better. Click on this drop down menu and I'm going to choose contains job. The user jobs. Okay, so this task template will create the user job when it actually gets built. Other things I can do is I can actually put descriptions in here. So you can cut and paste and put descriptions in the actual uh, task type. And then you can schedule how long it will take on this. Now this is going to be one hour scheduled on the task template that will show up here. Okay, so I'm going to just save and close this. So this is a demo that I'm creating. So in this section over here, this is 24 hour time. So if I said I wanted um, eight hours um, after the offset date, yeah, I'll just go eight hours. But if I want um, more than one day, if it's 24 hour time, it, you can't go 25. So what you want to do is you go at the end of here and you go one column and that is one day after it. And now it's going to have a little wind gender about it, but you can go save and close. And you can see it's now one day um, at the end. So now if I go to the Gantt chart and I click on week and scroll down to the bottom there, it's now gone to a week in here. Um, so I'm going to go day view all the way here. It's 24 hours after here, which is 12, 12 a.m. is all the default times scheduled on there. So that's how you add an item in a task in the job template. Now, pretty much your what you're doing is you're just clicking new and adding the items, adding the offsets and the orders in there, and you can drag and drop it, and that's the, um, off, um, the ability to manage your job template and give times on that. So, for example, if I want to now create a particular job template, I can go to the job template section over here and create a job from here. I'm going to tools, create new job. Or, most importantly, you just, if you just simply go to the Practice and Jobs, click on the New button, and choose Monthly. Checklist, Save and View. You now have all those tasks created, and the, and the test one, and that should be assigned to jobs because I pretty much had um, jobs, I like had three hours and the times in there as well. Now I hope that helps you, the detailed view of creating a job template in this section. hope that helps and um, there is documentation just uh, linked to this section um, or ask the people, there is documentation online for this that you can go through and, um, and make job templates for yourself to make it quicker for your staff to when they create new jobs, they can use their job templates to quickly have all the um, tasks ready for them. Hope that helps. I'll speak to you soon.